Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my beauty empties for the month of September. I can't believe October is here. I feel like September happened in like two seconds. That was so fast. For this month, I do not have as many empties as the previous ones simply because I had my sample September project pan going on last month as well. If you missed that finale, I will put it in the description box for you. I uploaded it on Monday. So for the most part during September, I was focusing on using up all those sample packets. However, somehow I did manage to get a little bit of full size products and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. As of right now, I don't know my empties totals. Uh, I will put the total for this month here on the screen. I just wanted to really get to filming this video so I didn't do my totals before, sorry about that. The first category of empties that I wanna share with you today is my category of masks. I used up three sheet masks in September, which is my monthly average. I wish I had more, but I just can't seem to get more. Um, anyway, the most recent one that I use is this one. It's the Espresso Revital Ampule Mask. This is from Double and Zero. It's a K-Beauty brand. I got this in a subscription box and I really liked it. It's for anti-aging and I did notice the next day my face was like so firm, which was amazing. I really, really enjoy this. I used up the I'm Charcoal from uh, Tony Moly. Uh, this one was good, and one of my all-time favorites, which you guys seen in my empties very frequently, this is the Leaders Tea Tree Relaxing Renewal Mask. Perfect for those days when you're breaking out. This mask will speed up the healing process for your breakout. In addition to the sheet mask, I did use a mask. This is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask from Peter Thomas Roth. Quick warning, the scent on this mask is going to make you crave a pumpkin pie. This smells amazing. I wish I was using it more frequently, like on a regular basis, because I didn't get to see a lot of change in my skin. But towards the end of the month, I noticed there was only a little bit left, so I really focused on using this mask. And I believe I used it like four times in a row. Not every day, but frequently four times in a row. And my skin was doing so well when I started using this. So this is definitely a repurchase for me. This little mask came in a $25 value pack of masks, five different ones from Peter Thomas Roth. I purchased it at Sephora last year and if it's still available, I recommend you try it. I think it's a nice way to try Peter Thomas Roth skincare because it can be very expensive. Moving on to some body care products. I used up one of the small lotions that I've told you guys I've been hoarding because I usually bring them back from hotels when we travel. So I just use this as a hand lotion at night. That's the way I'm going through them because they're not that good. Uh, this is from Whitewater Collection. I believe the brand is Big Man maybe. I don't know. I also have a hand soap empty, which I'm so excited. I'm slowly moving through my hoard, and I only have three left from Bath & Body Works. So, so excited. Uh, this specifically scent is Beautiful Blue Skies, and some of the notes are Dewy Blossoms, Kiss of Citrus, and Sheer Driftwood. This one smells really good. I managed to use up my first body scrub ever. I'm not sure how I ended up with three body scrubs in my collection, I don't really use body scrubs, but somehow they're part of my stash and I'm slowly moving through them. Uh, this one specifically is a small one. This is from Ulta Beauty and this is the Sweet Grapefruit Exfoliating Body Scrub. I personally don't like grapefruit scents, so that alone takes away points from the product. As I was using it, I thought it was good, but body scrubs can tend to get very messy. And that's one of the reasons why I don't find them to be a necessity in my routine. Plus my skin's not very dry. Uh, I thought it was good. That was my first impression. I, I guess it gets the job done, right? But I started using another one now that this one's empty. The new scrub that I have in my shower is from Tree Hut. And when you compare it to this one from Ulta Beauty, this one's not good. The other one is so much greedier. It's more hydrating. I'm really liking the other one better. I don't want to say this product is bad. I'm just saying I like the other one better. I guess it's going to take somebody who's very familiar with body scrubs to let you know if it's worth purchasing. But I personally will not be repurchasing because like I said, I do not use body scrubs. I have three makeup related empties. I have my favorite makeup remover wipes. These are from e.l.f. These are the makeup remover cleansing cloths. Love them. I also finished another setting spray from NYX. This is a matte finish uh, setting spray. This one's okay, it gets the job done. It does melt your uh, powders and everything, but 
I don't feel it really leaves my skin matte all day. And it claims to be long-lasting, so it's not bad. It's just not long-lasting like it claims, in my opinion. I'm slowly moving through them, and once I finish this, I will not repurchase because I like the Morphe setting spray a lot better. In my recent Ulta haul video, which if you missed, I'll link it in the description box for you, I mentioned that I had to purchase another liquid eyeliner because I ran out of my one and only eyeliner, which eventually my... Walmart Beauty Box came in and it had another liquid eyeliner, so now I have two. If you missed my Walmart Beauty Box unboxing for summer, I would link that in the description box for you as well. But anyway, what I'm getting with this is that this is the eyeliner that I finished, which made me purchase the other one. This eyeliner is from Hikari, and I got it on an Ipsy bag a while back when I was still subscribed to it seems sometime last year and this liquid eyeliner is in the shade iris which is purple I don't mind using purple liquid eyeliner I think it's fine it complements brown eyes nicely this eyeliner was good while it lasted however I will not repurchase I prefer the one I currently have in rotation a lot more and that one is from makeup revolution all right guys we made it to the end of the empties I have some nail products um, I'm telling you I didn't have that many which is good that way the video is not so long I have two of my um, nail polish removers from Ulta. This is the regular nail polish remover. They're frequently in my empties too. You know, I like them. I like to get Ulta points and they get the job done. So you will continue to see them. I have another nail polish remover that you see frequently. It's again from Ulta Beauty and this is the advanced nail polish remover. This one has a sponge. You just dip your finger in there and it cleans it out. It's nasty <laughs> that's why it's empty because it's gross i love using this kind of remover for those days when i just don't have that much time to get my nails done and last but not least i finished the last piece to a four piece set by formula x uh this is the cuticle conditioner this is the same size as my polishes that i have in my project polish from formula x i'm so glad i finished this this is a good cuticle i mean it doesn't really matter how good it is because they're no longer in business but this one was good and i'm so glad that i finally finished it it's been in my collection for over a year all right guys so those are my 14 empties for the month of september not a lot but i'm not really gonna stress about it because like i said i was working on my samples the whole month please make sure to check the description box for more videos especially the ones that i've mentioned throughout this video as always thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one Bye.